Every year, thousands of graduates see it reverently carried into Convocation Hall by the beadle, the designated mace holder, to officially begin the ceremony. They pass by the mace when they walk across the stage to convocate. A ceremonial mace is a highly ornamented staff of metal or wood intended to symbolize the authority of the institution. Ceremonial maces originated in the ancient Near East where they were used as symbols of rank and authority across the region. The University of Toronto's most recent mace is gold-plated silver and was forged in London, England. It was a gift from Lieutenant Colonel Eric Phillips, Chair of the Board of Governors, now called Governing Council, and unveiled at the June 1951 convocation. The mace is constructed entirely of silver and mercurial gilt and weighs 120 ounces troy. The decoration is enhanced with dull and bright burnishing. It was designed in the traditional form or pattern of the famous Thomas Mondi maces and has the arch or crown surmounted by the orb and cross. Under the mace's crown is a cushion bearing the coat of arms of George IV, who granted the university's first charter in 1827, while the bowl underneath has bands decorated with maple leaves and trilliums. As the mace is turned, there are panels that reveal the cipher used by King George IV, then the arms of Canada, Ontario, and U of T. Additional images of crosses, fleur-de-lis, and beavers reveal U of T's cultural origins and influences. So I think it really uh, continues to do what it was always meant to do, is really provide a sense of tradition, history, longevity of the institution, and the gravitas of really what's happening in a convocation ceremony.